Today is Tuesday, November 20th, and this is Tommy Media's News in 90. I'm Noah Brown. Governor Mark Dayton says he expects to be home before Thanksgiving after complications from back surgery required more than a month of hospitalization. Dayton told NPR News Tuesday that his two surgeries were successful and that physical therapy has helped with pain. The 71-year-old Democrat hasn't been publicly seen since before his first surgery in early October. He did not seek a third term in office and will be succeeded in January by Democrat Tim Walls. Stocks fell Tuesday morning as weak results from retailers and losses for technology companies pushed the market back into the red for the year. Energy companies are slumping due to a 5% drop in the price of oil. Industrial companies also dropped because of downward momentum from steep losses Monday. The S&P 500 dropped to 2,654 before 11 a.m., nearly 10% below its late September peak. The Dow Jones sank nearly 2% to 24,590 at the same time. The University of St. Thomas announced plans Tuesday to build two new residence halls and renovate Brady and Dowling halls over the next three summers. The new halls will be built where JP2 and faculty residents currently stand and will be open by fall 2020. The new buildings will have underground parking fa facilities and will hold just under 225 cars combined. The estimated cost for the project is $85 million and will be funded by public bonds that will be repaid by the revenue from the new dorms. Tuition will not be used for the projects. Check TommyMedia.com for the full story. For TommyMedia.com, I'm Noah Brown.